Rev up your engines. Greg says, Scotty, why do I see cars dripping gas out of the exhaust? What's the problem? Okay, if you have actual gas driven out of the exhaust and you smell gasoline, something is wrong. The fuel injectors are leaking or the math sense is wrong and it's putting too much gas in the engine or the ignition system's not working. But all cars at some point in time will drip water out of your exhaust because when you burn gasoline, which is nothing but hydrogen and carbon, and you burn it in Earth's atmosphere, one of the byproducts is a H2O water vapor and they all drip a little bit of water out that's normal for any car so if you do see them dripping put your finger in the drip and if it's just water that's normal if it's gasoline you got a problem but if it's water that's totally normal Pagero says I can't get my oil filter off my 06 Ford Escape hybrid please help if oil filters get stuck the main reason they get stuck is some fool put it on wrong when you take off an oil filter on top of it there's a rubber gasket the new one you have to put clean engine oil in that gasket. That makes it stay on and then it will come off because it's a lubrication. Some fools will put a dry one on, a new filter, just dry. You can get it on, but then it won't come off. Somebody probably did that. If they did, you have to get an oil filter wrench that fits perfectly on there. Then get a long bar like I do that fits on that socket and pull on it. You can always get them off. Now, if you don't want to buy the tools and it's stuck, Here's a trick I've done years ago. I got a long screwdriver. You can get long screwdrivers anywhere. And you just get a sledgehammer and a long screwdriver and you ram a hole through both sides of the oil filter. Then you turn that giant screwdriver and it'll get it off. It'll make a mess, but it'll get it off because you'll have the giant screwdriver going through both sides and you can pry it off. I've done that on a lot of ones that are really stuck. If I don't have a tool, it fits on them right. Freddie Hollinsworth said, when was the last time you saw a GM diesel car? Oh man, it was decades ago. If you remember, <laughs> they made the grave mistake of changing their 350 V8 gasoline engine into a diesel engine. And it was one of the most half-assed things ever done. And almost all those engines broke down way too early. If you make a diesel engine, you got to make it from scratch. You don't decide, oh, well, here's our gasoline V8. Let's convert it to a diesel V8. It was a massive failure. They had a bunch of lawsuits against them for it. Uh, I, I had customers with them and they basically fell apart when they got to be six seven years old they were junk you could pick them up for nothing everybody knew they were junk but the poor people that bought them brand new they all got screwed over Giovanni Romano says Scotty is it bad when gasoline mixes with your engine oil my Honda CRV has this issue thanks yes it's very bad it means that there's something going wrong that you're getting either too much fuel into the engine that's not burning or a worst case scenario your head gasket starting to blow and it's mixing because the head gasket it's starting to blow. The first thing you want to do is watch my video how to tell if your head gasket's blown. Check it out. And if it's blown, then you got to put a head gasket in or get rid of the vehicle. If it isn't, then find out what's doing it. Because when you dilute the engine oil with gasoline, it doesn't lubricate run. It'll ruin the engine bearings. It'll wear the pistons out. It'll wear the valve train out. It'll do all kinds of damage. It's a very bad thing. You want to fix it. Find out what the problem is. You don't want to drive it a long way that way. Noah Des says, cap for my radiator will not unscrew in my 89 Mustang four cylinder. Please help. Normally on those, the regular caps you got to push down a little and turn it at the same time if it's really stuck I have a giant pair of pliers that are like this long you can get them online for $20 you put those giant pliers on and push with one hand the cap down and with the giant pliers pull it those caps will come off it may be a somewhat older car but it's still got a plastic radiator on it and if the radiator neck breaks off when you do that that just means it's brittle and it's shot anyways you needed to buy a new radiator but most of the time you can push and with a giant pair of pliers turn it and get them off I've done that many times it's one of the main reasons I use my giant pair of pliers Sergio Cariotti says Scotty what do you think of buying an O2 Ford Escape Midnight Edition for nine thousand dollars with 105,000 lady bought it new and only did 5,000 K a year and did all the service on it I'm assuming you mean 
105,000 kilometers because if you mean miles, $9,000 is too much for a 17 year old Ford with 105,000 miles. I would not pay that much money. I would pay a lot less. If it's kilometers, it's okay, not a great deal, but if it's mileage, I would pay a lot less than that. That's a lot of miles for a 17 year old car, pay that kind of money for. I mean, if you could get it for three or four grand less, it'd be okay, but I wouldn't pay that much if it's 105,000 miles. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.